You all right? I'll be fine. I was you last week. I know exactly what you're going through. You didn't have to sit through this championship game, though. No, but I did sit out our first state title game. That wasn't easy to do. For all I know, this could be my only shot at it. Then I guess we'll just have to do this all over again next season, huh? Good luck out there tonight. Thanks. Who rained on your parade, little Miss Sunshine? I am not in the mood for this right now. It's because you're not playing, I take it. Like, I haven't had a bad enough day already. Now I have to deal with you. I know you upset. But that dude Tommy's your brother. And brothers should always have each other's backs. And wipe that sour puss look off your face. It's game time. Okay, son? Yeah. Yeah, coach, I, I just... Tommy. You all right, Tommy? We need some help over here! Hurry! You got my back, right? Of course. Always. Then go out there and finish this thing. show the world who you are. You're the guy who's gonna lead this team to victory. Are you gonna be remembered as the guy who got caught up in the moment and let it all slip away? I know you're worried about Tommy. Sure, we all are. But this is your one moment. Now get after it, son. Get some. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats, dogs, and frogs, my name is Darius P. You are not playing on holiday like that. Welcome back to Man 21, Face of the Franchise. First of all, I'm not your brother. I am not your brother. Ooh, what a catch holiday. Like, I'm not your brother, Tommy Matthews. We're not even friends. You don't like me. You treated me terrible since the day you met me. Go up, buddy. I got you. I got you. And after going absolutely bananas in the semifinal, you bench me to start him? Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My defense got to stop. This is the College Football National Championship. I just realized that it's Texas versus Oklahoma. What? Texas versus Oklahoma. I took a sec, but we still up 10 to 6, second and 18. I'm looking for my boy Walker. Might throw it to green, wherever he at. Oh, I'm taking off. Give me the blocks. Give me the blocks. Ooh. There's, there's, it's just no way you're playing on my guy like that. Green, do what you do. Green, do what you do. Baby. It's 14 seconds left to go on this one. Now I should kneel the ball. I mean, it's 45 27. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst? Oh, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. It's three seconds left. It's cool. Well, they changed quarterbacks at half and did not miss a beat. Here they are, your national champions. And 
celebration time on that sideline. It took a change at quarterback. His thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are the national champions. Well, Tommy's injury certainly was a setback. But the bond that these two kids have is really strong. And although only one of the heartbreak kids was out there in the second half, Tommy's spirit was with him, and I believe... You hear from Mr. Matthews? The hoodie gave it away. He's stable. But we're only allowing family to go back right now. That's great, because he's my brother. I'm proud of what he's accomplished this season. You think that's something? I should see it in person. <laughs> oh, man. That's so cool. Uh, uh. Oh, thanks so much for coming and bringing this. You kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. Coaching the guys in their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch their flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I stay behind, make sure you were all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, they did leave you the trophy. They wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. <sighs> How are you feeling, buddy? <sighs> like a sack of crap. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. <laughs> Hey, man, promise me one thing. Anything. That you'll come back next year and make him win the championship together. Next year? Let's just focus on getting you healthy. One day at a time, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Doc said I shouldn't overdo it. Did she say what caused all this? Yeah, something about the stress from my filthy roommate leaving his dishes lying around the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Please. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Is that him? He's an hour early. Coach? Don't look too disappointed. No, no. I was just suspecting Tommy. Come in. Care for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Give me a minute. Okay, Coach. Actually, I'm, uh... We had to talk to you about next season. Yeah, sure. Talk away. It was uh, it was something you said at the uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. It's something good, I hope. Well, it was something you said about treat your men like your beloved sons and. I'll follow you into the deepest valley. And that really got me. It got me thinking about the way I treat you boys and that I wasn't being fair to you, and Tommy, for that matter, or the team. Wow, Coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the offseason with everyone on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. Tommy's gonna be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even gonna be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, valve replacement surgery was great. He's gonna be right as rain. I just don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and 
I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. But I stand firmly behind it because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? Well, it, uh, it means that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, and based on what you did last year, I'd say you'd be lucky to get picked in the third round. But realistically, you're looking at a late round selection, if at all. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest with you from this moment forward. I'm giving it to you as I would my own beloved son. And my other choice? Well, the way I see it, you got too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Your talent is a true gift. And it's one that I'm gonna give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense and get your heartbreak kids thing going back again. Heartbreak kids. <laughs> I appreciate the faith, Coach, but... If I'm gonna play QB at the next level, seems like leaving now is my only shot. That's probably true. Wow. I did not expect all this to come to a head so soon. Well, anything you need, just call. And when those NFL coaches come calling, trust that I'll have your back. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. Cupcake! Oh, the NFL Combine. I spent so much time preparing for it, but some things you can't ever really say you're ready for. That's how the week felt to me. As you step out onto the field, for the first time, a lot of teams will be watching you. Do you hope a specific team drafts you? Pick a favorite team, force pick team, let fate decide. Let fate decide. Honestly, it'll be an honor to be drafted by any team in the NFL. The only thing that matters to me is hearing my name called on draft day. I walked away from the press conference feeling a buzz. I said a lot of things, but will my performance back it up? No, 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 no. No, this cannot be happening. Okay. Oh, oh man, okay. Think. It was the last place you looked at him. If you knew where you last saw them, they wouldn't be lost now, would they? Yeah, thanks. A lot of help you are. Oh! Oh, you... You're rich. Say it with me now. Eisen. Right, Eisen. You're a rich Eisen. Big fan. <laughs> I'm gonna be the laughing stock of your next broadcast, aren't I? Depends. You're gonna run the 40 barefoot? I may have a little fun with you, but don't worry. I won't make you a running joke, huh? Come on. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> uh, maybe not your best, but I I'll tell you what. You let me wear your cleats, I'll laugh at any joke you have. I mean, seriously, I'm desperate. Try them on. See if they fit. What's the verdict? Um, perfect fit, but honestly, and I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but they're a little damp. They're like really damp. Did you go swimming in these? Thought you said you were a fan. If you were, then you'd know I just ran my annual Run Rich Run 40 for charity. Ah, oh, right. right. How'd it go? Let's just say my days of keeping up with Saquon Barkley are behind me. Maybe you'll fare better than I did out there. What was your time? 5.98, baby. <laughs> well, 
I can't do any worse. I've seen statues move faster than that. All right, well, I want you to go out there and post a time of at least 4-6. Think you could swing that? Of course. 4.6? I can do that barefoot. That sounds like a challenge to me. Less challenging now that I don't have to do it barefoot, thanks to you and your cleats. Now that is what I like to hear. You're going to be helping those kids at St. Jude more than you know. Go get them, champ. Hope those shoes bring you good luck and an even better 40 time. Thanks again, man. Yep, I feel it. Welcome to another exciting edition of the NFL Scouting Conference. I'm Rich Eisen, and I'll be your tour guide as we meet the next crop of elite NFL talent. We're going to start things off with my personal favorite, the event that can break the spirit of any man. The 40-yard Let's go to 40-yard dash. 4-2, here I come. Please believe me, 4-2. Four, four, six. Four, four, six. All right, hit a four, two come. Four, two. Four, two. Let's go. Four, three, four, two. What? I just ran that so much better. I can't get any faster than that. That, this is some cheese. For the skills portion of this year's NFL scouting Draft stock training up, but I don't think there is any way you can even run faster. Welcome to the NFL scouting combine. Because of your limited experience, coaches and scouts gonna have a ton of film on you, so they're very interested to see how well you can throw football. Bro, did you not? If you perform well, you can be drafted early. If you struggle, you might slip to the later rounds of the draft. And it would be even harder to make an NFL roster. Throw to the hot spot. Receivers must catch the ball with both feet inside the hot spot. You kidding me, right? You're kidding me, right? This is too easy. This is too easy. Come on. This is the F you can talk about, baby. Out route. Eh. Both feet in. What? I, th I threw it too late. All right. You got what? He's. Oh, they're cheesing. They're definitely cheesing. Hold up. He definitely just caught both of those in bounds. What was that? That was in two. Or am I am I getting cheesed? Draft stock training up now. I know I made more weight them. Come on. Oh, that was way short. That was ooh, they called it a green. They called that a green. How was the one before that agreeing? Today had a little bit of it all. Select few guys who may have just cemented their place as one of the top picks in the upcoming NFL Draft. Until next time, I'm Rich Eisen. Welcome to the 2020 NFL Draft. Sure, the experts have done 2.7 million mock drafts, but you can toss those babies out the window. And we're back in the fourth round of the draft. The talent herd is beginning to thin, but there are still some real studs out there. Hey. This is the offensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears. How are you feeling right now? Oh, everything's great, coach. Well, look, son, we've been following you for quite some time, and we believe you could be an integral part of this team. Thank you, sir. Thank you so, so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me. And I'm ready to do whatever it takes to show you I'm worth your pick. <laughs> I know you will. I'll expect you to show up ready, OK? I'll be the first one there. Can't wait. And I'm just getting confirmation that the pick is in. Let's take it to the podium to see who the next pick in the draft is going to be. What a phenomenal pick. This kid has shown some elite abilities on the field. He's a freak athlete, totally capable of taking over a game in the right system. My name is Darius P, 
Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed the video and would like to watch another one right now, you can do so by clicking on any one of the four boxes that you see on your screen right now. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by hitting that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video.